White tigers and lions are a trademark of Siegfried and Roy, the German-born illusionists who have been putting on one of the most famous shows in Las Vegas for more than 30 years. An accident saw them in the headlines in 2003 when Roy was attacked by a 273 kilogram white tiger in the middle of a performance, narrowly escaping death. Having performed in Las Vegas for more than three decades, Siegfried and Roy established box office records for the city. The duo combined white tigers with magic in a famously glitzy act that was the toast of the city in the 1990s. The pair became partners in magic after meeting on a boat. They toured the world and featured rare white tigers, which they later bred in many of their acts. They settled permanently at the Mirage Resort on the Las Vegas Strip in 1990 in a showroom built especially for them where their splashy and spectacular show featured disappearing tigers, pyrotechnics and outlandish costumes. On October 3, 2003, the show started out just like any other before a male tiger grabbed Roy by the neck and dragged him off stage during a performance. As a distraught Siegfried and a stunned audience watched on, Handler sprayed the tiger with a fire extinguisher to separate him from Roy, who was conscious when he was rushed to undergo two hours of surgery at the University Medical Center. Even as he was being attacked by the tiger, he showed concern for the audience by trying to remain calm and not do anything that might provoke the tiger to attack anyone else. The star, whose 59th birthday was the night of the tragic show, was able to move his right arm and feet, encouraging his fans to conclude that he would survive. Bernie Eumann, manager for Siegfried and Roy, was hopeful about the magician's recovery. He's fighting for his life and uh, he's cognizant of the fact that, uh, uh, that he's in uh, a circumstance whereby every second of every minute of every hour of every day it passes. Uh, is to our benefit and uh, brings us closer to uh, uh, survival and then ultimately recovery. Roy, who has been working with animals for decades, pleaded for the life of the tiger even as paramedics worked to stop massive bleeding from his neck wounds. Siegfried believes Roy fell during the act and the tiger was attempting to drag him to safety, as a mother tiger would do for one of her cubs, and says he doesn't feel the mauling was intentional. It was Correct. definitely an accident and uh, I know uh, what I saw, I know what was all about. If it wouldn't have been an accident, you know, if the cat would come up and uh, you, you would see a, a, a tiger will show you also what is in his mind when it's upset and so on, so, you know. While recuperating at the University Medical Center, Siegfried said Roy began to communicate with him using hand signals. It's slow for us. Doctor, they think it's a miracle. Uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, he, uh, last night I left him and he had the thumb up. Today when I talked to him, he gave me the peace sign and the love sign. And, uh, you know, every day we take it uh, day by day. In hospital for almost three months after the attack, Roy revealed in a 2004 interview that he had actually suffered a stroke on stage that left him partially paralysed. But this accident hasn't stopped this incredible performer from doing what he loves.